Project Palermo is underway and we've notched up our first win. The rest of it has been a bit iffy, but today our first ever derby against our fiercest rivals. Welcome to Project Palermo. I am your old mate DP here in the DP Dome and we are off to a rocky start on the road to redemption. Here we are down in 18th place. We started in 15th, so we've gone backwards and now we're in a little bit of debt. But that's not important. What is important is we won a football game against Empoli. It was 1-0. Eddie Salcedo in the 74th minute notched up a win for us and it was lovely. We did it at home in front of all of our Screaming Pink fans and had a lovely time. Then we went away to Ascoli and botched it and lost 1-0. Goals are a bit of a problem. We saw that in the last episode against Barry and Salernitana. But today we're going to face off against Catania, our fiercest rivals, and Cesena. Catania are down in 12th place uh, above us. So, yeah but nearly everyone else is as well. And Cezena are in seventh place. That's a thing that's happening. We have done a little bit of fiddling with the tactic. We've binned off the defensive midfielder because we're just getting no service up to the strikers at all, hence the trouble with goals. So we've gone to two central midfielders, a uh, Segundo Volante and a defensive mid. They're both defensive midfielders, but you get the idea of what I'm saying. They're our midfield. And we've added an attacking midfielder and Brunori is still not firing. His average rating is 6.68. Still has not scored in any of our first four games. He's definitely off the boil. And uh, Chadira has been scoring while away on international duty. So he gets the nod. But this is a squad... Uh, that we'll be using in this match. We'll go through it properly now. So a back four of Lund, Nikolaou, Walekiewicz and Pirozzi with Gomi behind them in goal. Uh, Segre and Blin get the nod in midfield. De Mariano, Ver and Di Francesco are our attacking midfielders with Chidira up front, hopefully getting us on the score sheet. We've still got a lot of unfit players knocking about this place. We're trying to fix that as best we can. We just need to power through and hopefully get a result against our rivals. And we're going to try and leverage that and get a reaction out of the players. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Bit of passion. Bit of, bit of oomph. Bit of grrr. Bit of aggro. We just need to do better. We've been really, really toothless so far. And it's very disappointing. We've got the personnel. The shape should be working. Everybody is playing defensive because we're in Italy. And that's what Italy does. But we're also in a situation where we've got less points than matches played. We fixed it temporarily with the win against Dempley and then went backwards again. Which is not ideal by any stretch of the imagination. But here we go. We're underway now. And we've got the football. Promising signs. Here goes Blin, Who has looked decent and has been contributing. Di Francesco, on the other hand, really has not. That should have been a goal. And that was weak source there from Segre. But we've had a shot. And I will take it. 27 fan, uh, 27 fans. Yep, just 27. That's all we've got. Uh, 27,700 fans in attendance. So we're well supported. And we need to repay the faith from our supporters. And we're just not doing that. Chances have been scarce. As I said, that's why we've moved to the attacking mid to try and get some service up to our lone striker. Maybe we just need two up front. Because... They won a couple of games before we arrived. But again, just the lack of service is really alarming. And our wingers are supposed to, are supposed to be good. We should be producing something, but we're struggling to even get a highlight here. Here's another one, but it's not us with the ball. We have it now, though. Perazzi running forward, looking for support. Plays it all the way back to Walu. Oh, ooh, I appreciate them shortening that. That's very pleasant. More of that, please, football manager. That makes my life a lot easier. Well, now to Di Francesco, he should be a lot further forward, but this has had an overlapping run from our wing back, which is what we've instructed them to do in the tactic, and that's quite nice. Good cross in, header on the ball, and Chidira has scored. It's a goal for Palermo. We haven't seen one from us yet in an episode, but now that has definitely occurred, and I'm here for it. Di Francesco finally does something nice. Turns, 
passes. Pierozzi with a floated cross and Shadira is there. He scored three goals in the international break. He was banging him in for fun. And oh, Marvlos right on the stroke of half time as well. And I've just noticed, I haven't seen this before, but there's little puffs of smoke in the crowd. Like they're setting off this. <laughs> well done, Sports Interactive. I don't endorse flare lighting at football. I'm against it, personally. I get the atmosphere and everything else, but it's just not for me. But to see it in game, full credit. <laughs> not the best effect you've ever seen, but it's a nice touch. Uh, outstretched start, no. Uh, pump the fist. I'm happy so far against our rivals, but don't lose your concentration, lads. Carry on as you were. We're well on top in this game. Way more possession, more shots, better XG. They fouled us more, so we're causing them problems. And again, against our biggest rivals, this will help us get the supporters on side. Should be a nice morale boost for the rest of the team. Morale's been shocking, by the way, and they're about to have a man sent off here. He's just kicked the crap out of poor Pirozzi. The trainer's out, giving him some magic spray and a, a bit of a cuddle. And hopefully he'll be okay. Uh, he hasn't gone red or, or yellow in terms of injury, so that is good. Uh, we've got a corner here. We'll make some changes after this. Headers up. No joy. It's spilled to Di Francesco. He's going to look now to run it back in. Shoots from range, and that was absolutely pointless. On the upside... He has a match rating over 6.5. That's the first time that has happened <laughs> for us. Uh, he's, he's not been brilliant. We're just going to bring on uh, Abdul Gard, who I dropped because he'd been poor. We'll move him over to DM. Blink and play as our Segundo Volante. And who else is stinking out the joint? De Mariano today has been no good. So Eddie Salcedo is going to come on for him. And... I think that will do for now. Uh, unless I bring on Checaroni for Nicolau, I think I will, and just freshen things up a little bit in the back line. That's the wrong player. I clicked on the wrong one there. I mean, in my defense, I've got Checaroni and Kirasoni. Both of them sound like potential species of pasta. They're not, though. They're humans. And now... Uh, one of them is going to be on the pitch. What am I talking about? Uh, Chidiro heads it wide. De Mariani's there, but we know he's not been wholly effective today. But that was good from him, now that he's unnoticed. But we've given the ball away. Blin, who has had a really good game, has lost out in midfield. And we need, we've got some work to do now to win the ball back. They're lobbing it forward. We've been beaten for pace here. Uh, he's just been thin completely by the onrushing attack. There's a flare, look at that. Oh, with pink smoke and everything. That is mad. Absolute madness. The fans are losing their mind. They're loving what they're seeing. I'm not so much loving that. Uh, and again, I think it was Blin who was found one. That's a great ball through for Chidira. And he's in. And questions of offside, but I did not see the flag go up. The Catania players are protesting profusely. It doesn't matter though, the goal's awarded and we're, we're up 2 0 at home, looking at our second win in the dugout here at our glorious stadium that we checked out in the first episode. If you haven't seen that, you should go have a look. We've got the Grand Tour and uh, learned about our disciplinary issues. Good times were had by all. Again, I'm so excited because we're scoring goals and I'm tripping over my tongue. That's how awesome this is. And you can hear my computer digging its head off because it's, it's thoroughly enjoying itself too. Here's Lund with a free kick, heads to the far post. Good header, but off target. We've got 20 minutes to go. I think it's change o'clock. I mean, everything's doing all right. Check your brony apparently is struggling to meet the pace. So is Eddie Salcedo. Di Francesco has had a really good game. I wouldn't mind freshening things up in midfield a little bit, but Blin again, is playing well. Chidira's got two goals. I can't take him off. I mean, he's on a hat trick. He'll lose his mind. I don't know what to do. I've got, I've got option paralysis. I'm a mess. I'm a shadow of my former self. What I might do is move Salcedo into the center right there, and we'll have a look at Vasic and see what, uh, see what he can bring to the table. There we go. We made a change. We've got one more in our pocket, which we'll do with like ten minutes to go. 
and just try to shore things up a little bit. Hiroti now up to Abdulgard, who just pops it around a little bit to Francesco. Over to Ver uh, Verre to Blin. Could play it through for Chidira. He does. He shoots, he scores, but the flag is up. Nearly got his hat trick, but he went a little bit too early, and that was pretty obvious if you have a good look at what was going on there. It's going for a review. We all know it's offside. There we go. Goal disallowed. Now it's probably going to show us a replay of that. Yeah, no, we just saw it. But yeah, he is miles off. He's in a different postcode. He was on his way to Rome from Sicily. That's not what we're after. I'm learning geography. Because I'm a smart man sometimes. Right. Uh, that's a foul on the edge of the area. It's a tight call. And they pointed to the spot. We've won a penalty. No idea who our penalty taker is because I haven't had a look at that screen at all. It's going for a review, actually. So, no, penalty it is. It has to be Chidera stepping up, surely. Ah, oh, Salcedo, what a monster. Why would you? Why would you do that <laughs> to Chidera? That is harsh. But 3-0 to Palermo. A well-taken penalty. Let's watch it again because we can. Salcedo steps up, whack, and goal. And you know what? That's not right, and I need to fix it. Where do we go? Replay camera, not director, thank you very much. We'll go behind the goal. Apologies for missing out on that one. We'll get it next time. We scored so few goals that I didn't realise that's what it was set to. And I don't care for it. We're rolling in now. We've got one more change to make. Let's just run some time off the clock. Uh, Pirozzi, who's had a really good game with a 7.6 match rating, is a little bit shattered. So he can have... A little rest, uh, rest his weary bones. And now we can bring on Carasoni, the other pasta man. He's on to have a little kick about for the last couple of minutes. Won't fix his match fitness issue, but he's there. And we have pulled off a win for the ages. We've delighted the fans. We've beaten our rivals. We've righted the ship. We're going to win the league. We're not going to win the league. No way. But that is a much, much needed victory. Oh, and then I can breathe a little bit better. I've got a steam achievement as well. I would love it if we beat them. You beat a rival team. Well done, me. Everything's covered up Mulehouse. That rockets us up the table to 15th place. More points than games played. One point behind Catania now. And things are looking up. Apparently, we've ruined Empoli as well. They were in 6th place when we played them. They've dropped down to ninth. But next up, Cezena, who are up in seventh now they've dropped a position as well but i suspect that'll level itself out as more games are played right uh we will come back and face off against the center in a moment here we go then ready to play Cezena. but i did want to show you how our dynamics are looking after that win and they're not Great, so our team cohesion is average. Our club atmosphere is up to very good. It was hovering around the, the middle not too long ago. Managerial support is average. Hell yeah, but Di Francesco is unhappy with his playing time and Ranokia wants to start more games, but he's been injured, so I haven't been able to help him out with those. I've made some promises about that because I wanted to use Di Francesco anyway. And Ranokia is actually quite a good player. He hasn't played a lot. It's a fair ask, and we'll get him involved once he's fit again. He's going to help out the under-20s for the time being. The other thing is I brought in a couple of trialists, and they are rubbish. Uh, Carl Jacob Pine is a goalkeeper. He is not going to solve our problem. This guy, uh, Mattia Aramu, is a 30-year-old Italian attacking midfielder. can cover all those positions. He looked decent and could probably help us out. So... Yeah, there's an argument to, to bring him in, but we got him on trial for four weeks. The free transfer deadline is in one week, so not sure. And I'm not convinced, but we'll see how we go. Anyway, we've got a match to play against Zena, so we're going to do that now. We've made a couple of changes, nothing huge. Ceccaroni's getting the nod uh, over Nicolau. Just want to give Nicolau a breather, uh, and Ceccaroni can get some more fitness into him. Uh, Lund is still in, so the back four. Ahead of Gomi and goal is Lorne Ceccaroni, Walukowicz and Pierozzi. Abdulgad gets a nod as to Segundo Volante. 
along with Blinn, who had a really good outing in that last game. Uh, Segre just wasn't doing it for me. Demariano Vea and Di Francesco supporting Chadira up front. Chadira also made Team of the Week after his two-goal effort and after uh, Salcedo robbed him of a hat-trick, uh, which also reminds me, I didn't go in and fix that to make sure that a player on the hat-trick will take penalties. We'll do that after this match. But hopefully, away from home, we can get a result against uh, Susanna and get ourselves on a, a bit of a, a bit of a roll, a bit of a streak. I will absolutely take a point in this game if uh, Susanna are uh, happy to give us one. I will not argue. It's a big ask because we're not in great form despite that win. But we've seen some positive signs that maybe we can turn things around. Hopefully, that is going to continue today. We've got the football. We're in a darker coloured strip with pink socks, which is very nice indeed. We are a stylish, stylish team. So thank you to the City Group for hooking us up with a good kit manufacturer because these are delightful. Lund now, way out wide, passes it in to Blin, and he's given the ball away. That's the wrong team. So, you know, passing leaves something to be desired. But Ciccaroni there, I'm a tactical genius, brought him into the team. He's getting work done. You love to see it. He's did Francesco. He had a great game last time out. Hopefully he can continue that and find some form for himself. Perozzi bursting into the area. That's our right back, everybody. Taking a shot from um, uh, just to the right of the penalty spot and nearly giving us an early lead. Here's Lund now with the corner. Heads to the far post. We're up. We're down without the football. Not really what we're after. But we're on top so far. More possession. Shot on target. I like it. Catania are losing again. Barry are on a terror at the moment. They're up 1-0. This will take us up to 13th as things stand. But let's just not concede a goal here. Gentlemen. Danger signs. How are we defensively? It's obviously not our strong suit. This guy had no one marking him. He just waltzed in there into a very dangerous position. Don't let them turn. Good save from Gomi. Hart was in the mouth because he's not exactly Mr. Reliable. But we got away with it. And another corner now for Zezena. We just need to get the football out of the danger area and sort our lives out without giving away a penalty, which we have. Avoid the danger. And on we go. Not a lot happening. No one's really had a clear-cut chance as yet. Let's just drop some encouragement for the boys. Get everybody smiling and happy because we love a smiling face around these parts. Heading into half-time. One more each and we'd be level. Pump the fist. You've been the better team. We haven't really. That's questionable advice from Giuseppe, our assistant manager. But we go with it because we love the man and we're going to trust him. He's staying with us forever. Even if Real Madrid come knocking, he's ours, hands off. They're not going to come knocking for our assistant manager. We are well on top with possession, but we're just not creating anything. And I am slightly concerned. And now Cezena are on the attack. I care for that. Not at all. Not one little bit. Uh, the other change I made, I forgot to mention it. Jadira's preferred position, or preferred role, I should say, is a pressing forward. So we've let him do that. And that is a lovely goal from Abdulgard. Oh my goodness, from outside of the area. That's our defensive midfielder. Again, demonstrating my tactical genius, bringing him into the side, sticking with him. And he has re rewarded us tenfold, or at least one fold, just a single fold. Fold the paper in half. We're not at origami stages yet, but he's hit that with some welly. Their goalkeeper's got his paws to it. It could only palm that into the side net, isn't it? And we have taken, it must be said, a well-deserved lead. We've worked hard for that, and I'll take it. Right, we're going to make some changes. Very really hasn't showed up today. So Salcedo can come on and sit in the center again, because I liked him last time. Blin has not really captured the awesomeness from the last match. So we'll throw Segre on, and then we'll just swap these guys back around. Get Segre involved. Or actually, we'll, we'll keep him like that because Abdulgard is having a good game. And for my final trick, Dichiara can come on and have a run over Lund, who let me down a little bit today. So fresh legs, a bit more get up and go. 
in the back line. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Don't tempt fate, DP. Shut your face. If we're going to hang on to this lead, we would just rocket up the table to 11th place, which would be delightful. 12th now, because something else has happened elsewhere. I'm not going to make a shout because we're winning. I was going to make a final change, but the game's over. There's no point. Two in a row, everybody. We're on a roll. We are officially on a roll. I am awesome. This club is awesome. I'm a happy camper. Abdulgard can get a pat on the head for his 8.4 effort. That was really good today. Well done. And tell you what, Gomi, with a bunch of saves, you did well out there too. That's right. I'm complimenting a goalkeeper. I never do that. What an awesome result. I was hoping to rock it ahead a little bit, but I kind of want to have a look at us in the Copa Italia. But it is against Hellas Verona who are in our league. So maybe that's a bit boring. I'll tell you what we will do. We'll go through to January, see if we can find a brand new goalkeeper. And I'll meet you there and we will play Brescia and Crotone. They're two interesting games, I think. And then we'll start making a bit more progress towards the end of the season. I feel much better with a couple of wins on the board. Oh, I'm sweating. If you had a good time, hit the like button and let the universe know how awesome Project Palomo is. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you get a notification when the next episode drops. That way you won't miss out. Until then, be good. If you can't be good, don't get caught. Oh,